Morning! Alright, so Maddie kindly left me some uh, leftover bits from her lunch. I believe she's used up all the avocado though. Hmm. And I thought, I've got to have something a bit more interesting than that. So I procured these from the fridge to aid in my sustenance. I'm not going for the spicy olives we've got because I'm not an insane person, but I am going for jalapenos. I will just mush everything into a pot with the rice and chickpeas. I'll probably just use this bowl. No need to serve it out into another bowl and this will do. Ah, perfect. I also put some sriracha mayo on there because why not? Okay, Maddie reminded me that I didn't have any green veg, so I got some lettuce and some peppers in there. Much better. Who told you to put some lettuce in there? You. Because Alex always does. That's not a lettuce in there. There is. Where? Is that all the lettuce you're gonna have? That's not. Well, there's not much lettuce left. It's there's all more gross. lettuce than that left. I'm not gonna eat the whole head of lettuce, am I? Go on, give yourself some more lettuce. Nope. Okay, fine. Ha! I win! It's pretty colourful. That's the thing. Alex often, when he brings yeah. out his meals he's made, they are all one colour. So I always say to him, no, you need to add some other colours in there. Brown. That's, Brown is the best colour. Because he's got this stuff in the corner of his lips. Yeah. And that's a deficiency of some sort. Well, Either B12, I mentioned it yesterday. I thought it was B vitamins. Yeah, so you need to eat more greens and more just a Slash variety of foods. Also drinking enough water. Yes. Alex doesn't take care of himself. You don't think about your food enough sometimes. No. You want me to have a little bit more lettuce? A little bit more lettuce. Okay. Because it just, it will make you feel better. Okay. I promise you. I got a very, very, very exciting delivery from Charlie Feist. Feist? Feist. No, I think it's Feist. It's their beautiful backpack. They're made from recycled plastic. Look how gorgeous this is. I'm gonna get Alex to show you what it looks like on me. I'm gonna take it out with me now. Fashion show. But it's made from recycled plastic bottles and they really kindly sent it to me. And I'll leave a link to it down below. I think they're giving me 10 pounds off, either 10 pounds or 10% off. So I'll leave it down below if you're interested. I'm definitely gonna share it more because I am just so in love with these companies that are sharing, you know, I've got my JW pay bags and they're, you know, producing these vegan leather recycled plastic bags. And it's so high quality, like these straps just feel... What's that noise? Just, sorry about the noise, it's the builder. These straps feel so high quality, and like even the hardware is such nice quality. And they've got like Velcro here, and then the strap inside is like, you know, so you can keep everything in, and it's like almost waterproof. And it's huge in here, so this is like a perfect weekend bag. Because there's so much space and I love the orange. It's like my old orange backpack. And it's got a little slot for your laptop. I just couldn't, you know, I'm just going to wax lyrical about this because this is just so good. Look, show me, show what it looks like on. Do you remember my orange backpack? It looked a lot like this. Yes. And it was really handy because it was huge. And it's unisex because I I was hesitant to say yes to this because I already have two bags. I have my Falraven Kankin and my JW Pay one. But then I thought, do you know what? When we were traveling, we were sharing the Falraven and it was a bit annoying because the JW Pay one, the, the leather one I have, which you guys might have seen before, it's not something you can take traveling. It's quite like smart and it's like a faux leather so you couldn't really wear that i wouldn't take that with me abroad on holiday it's not big enough either yeah. it's more like a fashion bag whereas this means that we can both have our own backpacks that are going to be really practical for travel for cycling see how nice is it doesn't it look cute yeah Co it's also not one that like looks empty when it's got nothing in it hmm. i'm gonna take this off i'm gonna use this now for shopping right now or like in general yeah, we're going to go get a few bits for dinner, but like, I love oh, it. Oh yeah, okay. Doesn't it look good? It does. And yeah. this is not sponsored, they did send it to me, but I only accept things. I get a lot of people saying, can we send you this, can we send you that? I say no to like 99% of them, because this is a brand that I'm wholeheartedly behind. How cool is this? Look at the big zip and the big, oh, it's just so cool. <laughs> love it. So yeah, I'll leave a link below. I think it's 10 pounds off or 10% off. So go check them can out. You show me. Show me with it on. It's just the kind of- Turn around? The kind of style. So, can you stay still? So yeah, it just looks like a normal backpack. It doesn't look, it looks, you know, universal. Kind of like the Falraven, it's unisex. Not with this outfit though. 
pretty sure this is what everyone. Yeah, wearing. my outfit's really good too. I've got these lovely track Reebok trackies on. They're better. They the Reebok ones. Mm -hmm. oh, it's better than my outfit though, isn't it? But yes. I, I look like one of the painters outside. I can play. When it. you did that, you just like pulled your thing up around your willy. <laughs> no, right. Okay, let's go. What are you doing? It's really rainy. This is why I haven't gotten out of the house recently. Hopefully this will clear my sinuses. I haven't been to the gym the last two days because I didn't want to exert more energy on my body trying to repair muscles and it needs to repair my nose and my throat. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm showing Alex the little health food shop that I visited when I got my hair cut because it's just down the road and it's really cute. Sorry if there's wind. So you got your hair cut here? Yeah, I got my this hair way. cut down this way. Okay. And um, as I was leaving, I was going to get some food from Tesco. And then I was like, oh my god, there's a health food shop right next to the hairdressers. So I went in there and there was a really cute family. And loads of vegan food. And I was like, we need to shop here more now. So we're going to go here first and foremost for all our shops. Anything they don't have, we'll have to go to Tesco or whatever. But I'm trying to scope out the area and what markets there are and stuff. We need to get a parking permit and then one day go right. and visit all the different markets and find them all and which is most convenient and which is within walking distance and like yeah just make it easier for us to know where everything is basically because I don't want to shop at Tesco anymore I want to support local business <laughs> my favorite cereal the chocolate stars Yay! I don't think I'm gonna get any because how much is it we're on a budget 325 yeah that's a treat I've had plenty of treats this weekend oh that's cool yeah they've got a refill thing for refill. look I wish that they had some refills for other stuff so I could zero waste shop because um this year I'm really trying to reduce my waste I'm not putting any pressure because I know that zero waste is a journey just like anything else but um there is a place in Brighton that has like refill for like bulk foods. So when we get the cut parking permit, we want to go there and see what it's like. Is that the Infinity Foods? No, no, this is the Infinity Food stuff. But there's a place. I will leave a link to it below. But I can't. Or like Alex will leave a link to it below. But I can't remember the name of it. But it's somewhere where you can refill your beans and rice and stuff from like big things and put them in jars so you don't have to buy them with in bags. Yeah. So we'll see where that is and if they have like we can buy because we always buy rice We always buy beans. We always buy lentils so we can buy all that stuff in bulk and save Wrapping but yeah, it takes organization and time and this is the first step to get stuff from here because they've got loads of stuff And they do like, you know Pretty big bags of stuff and They need lots of organic stuff and pastas and they have all the uh, bouillon and Oh, yeah, they've got all the bouillon yeast and sauerkraut yeah, and organic beans. We only came here, I wanted to show Alex this stuff. We actually have most of the food we need for now. We're gonna try and do it and get organized and do a weekly shop because we're also trying to figure out our budget. So we're trying to yeah. stick to a budget. So yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I think it, we've already figured out the budget we want. Yeah, yeah, but it's easier to go shopping once a week so you can yeah. evaluate what you have in your cupboard. Go do one shop and if we go like either with the car or with the bike or just go out for the day and then get everything, then we're like ready. But I want to do like a proper stock up and do a video on like my pantry essentials because that's been requested so I just love that this place is here everyone will have like a health food shop nearby and it seems like it's going to be more expensive because they have lots of expensive foods but if you're selective and you have a list then it's really not that much different they have vegan kimchi my life has changed oh my god Alex oh I've never seen this brand have you? Yeah. I've never heard of it oh my god it's tempeh I've seen that before. That looks like, how much is that? That's a bit more expensive. Do you want to get one of these? Or a couple of them? Yeah. Pretty cheap. They also have toothpaste. They have the Kingfisher one. Which was the one that I had. Oh, they've got all the Faith in Nature stuff. I actually ran out of deodorant today. Plastic, yeah. So they have a plain one. <clears throat> Unscented. No, I need um the salt and the salt one. Okay, we're just going to get some tofu. I was just saying to Alex, because sometimes Alex isn't always on board with these things immediately, because it's more expensive, etc. Oh, I am now. You are. In the but past, I wasn't. Like, I would go, oh, I'll just go to Aldi. Yeah. It is fine. And if you are, if you can't afford to go to a health food shop, you know, we're very privileged and that we can afford that. And I understand that lots of people can't. And they have to shop at Iceland and Aldi, and that's fine. No shame here. But if you have the means, then, you know, we're on a budget too. But um, 
if you do have the means, then it feels so much better to go to a shop like that, have a conversation, create up like friendships and also just be giving money back to a family. Like he's the, he, he's the guy who was serving us, well the, his daughter was serving us. <laughs> And just like expecting us to give her know, the, yeah. the product. She yeah. just stood on a chair behind the till. And she took it, she did all the buttons, gave us the right change. Yeah, it's going towards that family and feeding them and their business rather than to a huge corporation that is pretty shady, Tesco for example. You know, yeah. not, not the best company. Like they do lots of great vegan food, but if I had a choice, I didn't know that health shop was there, I'd rather give it to that yeah. health shop. And like the difference it's gonna make in money, I don't think it's gonna make it, we are gonna give ourselves a budget which would be the same in Tesco as it would be in here. And actually when I shop locally, I find I spend less because I actually plan ahead and I only buy what they have. Whereas Tesco has all these offers, has all these yeah. extras, has all these fancy fun foods that you're tempted any, to buy. Any money we would save, we'd be like, okay, well, that means I can buy some crisps. That means yeah. I can buy some beer or something. Yeah. Well, you I end up yeah. spending more, and I actually don't think it's more expensive. But we were comparing the price of tofu between it's the, the same. two. the same. And it's the same, especially when you consider the better quality tofu, which means it has less water in it, blah, blah, blah. The cheese, blah, blah. the so vegan cheese is the same. Yeah. The only difference is they don't obviously have as many options, they don't have as many non-organic stuff, but like, I want to move towards buying more organic, yeah. and it's just a good option. What Try we, it. I remember what we used to do is we go to the farm shop in Cornwall. Yeah. Go and there then first. Everything we get most of the stuff there, yes. and then we get everything else. And in anything that was way more expensive. So if there was like um, only organic chickpeas, for example, and that was too much money for us because we were like we can't spend, you know, a pound on a tin of chickpeas, we'd go to Aldi afterwards, and that's a really good option. I encourage you to do is find your local health food shop, go there first with your list for the week and buy what you can there, what's within your budget, have a look and compare the prices and go there first. Often fruit and veg will be exactly the same if not cheaper because they'll do a deal. Like the first time I went there he gave me a free, free satsuma and free red onion because, because why not? <laughs> and yeah, it's a good thing to do and then you go to your usual shop afterwards to get what you need. Um, but yeah, anyway, I feel like I've been shouting because it's so loud, the traffic. Yeah. And um, we're gonna go back home now. Let's cross the street. <laughs> Where are you? Where are we? Is this our right street? Yeah. Oh yeah. Dancing, you weirdo. Run! Don't you just love the British seaside? <laughs> I'm excited for it in summer because I bet it would be so nice and warm. Yeah, I was talking to your dad about it, about how busy it's going to be. Yeah. Especially with all those, uh... no, you can't see them. All those uh, little huts. Huts, that's the word. Hey, look! Ah! Ah! Help me! Help me! He's not lifting me up. Ah! Ah! What are we cooking today? Miso soup. Miso soup. Kind of. There is on my channel a video where I share this kind of recipe. I'll have to find that video then. Yeah. I was going to cook it and then Maddie said. Well, I know no. it'll. I'll just have to tell you it's going to take you like. It's fine if it was like four o'clock, but it's nearly six. I'm really Yeah, hungry. it's crazy late. It's nearly six. What? That's dinner time. All right, I'll watch and learn, shall I? Yes. Yes, because I forgot how to cook this. I mean, it's not that hard, but. Whatever. Every meal is basically the same with me. Ignore my crap cooking skills. Have you seen this onion? Onion? What am I talking about? Mushroom. Siamese mushroom. I have to carefully remove him from his Dissect twin. Him. Should I do it? Yeah. Ah, there we are. 
Perfect. You excited about this? Hi. Have you tasted it? No. Is it good? Yeah, we make it all the time. Right? <gasps> <sighs> Chimney Christmas. Look at that tofu. So let's look at the statistics. The United States is home to 5% of the world's population, but 25% of the world's prisoners. Mm. 